Hello, and welcome to our candy store. Is there anything I can help you find today? Okay, so you're looking for some sweet items? Okay, and are you looking for some new items? Or some personal favourites? Okay, sure. Well, I'm more than happy to help you. Of course, it's no problem. So we do currently have a sampler plate for our specials for this month. And I'll just show you that. We have six samples that you're more than welcome to try. We have a matcha green tea boba style candy. This one's chewy. We have a tapioca pearl boba tea flavoured candy. We have three sweets from Milkita, and that is the chocolate chewy sweet, the vanilla chewy sweet, and the strawberry chewy sweet. We also have this one here, which is a gelatin-like consistency coconut candy. And you are more than welcome to try those items at your leisure, of course. So, I'll find some items for you to have a look at, okay? Okay. Let's try this one. So as you try those samples, I'll show you some other candies that we have. So, this is a sweet candy by Asahi, and it is Kalpa Sweets. These are hard, creamy, and fruity candies, and this pack contains four flavours. It contains soda flavour, I believe, strawberry, grape, and peach. So this is a Japanese product, and this contains quite a few individual sweets, and you're going to taste the combination of concentrated fruit juice in combination with that creamy, milky flavour. So I myself have not tried these, but these have been very popular with our customers recently. So, as you can see through the packaging, they are these individual little sweets that are half-flavoured milk and half-flavoured fruit. So, what do you think? about this one. Does this one sound nice? It does. Perfect. So I noticed you tried the tapioca pearl boba tea candy. What did you think of that? It's tasty, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'll grab that one for you. This one has just the most fantastic packaging. So these are milk tea tapioca candies, and these are small, chewy, almost gum-like consistency candies, and these taste exactly like the flavour of a bubble tea. So they have a little bit of a coating around the tapioca pearl style candy. And they capture the flavours of the pearls. And they're much chewier and easier to consume than your typical standard tapioca pearl. But even before you try them, they do have the most lovely smell of tapioca and a bubble tea. 
so they taste very close to the intended flavour. These come in individual pieces. I'll just grab this other one. So they're nice to snack on and share. And they are well packaged. And even though they're chewy, I'm sure from chewing them yourself, you'll know that they're not too hard to chew on. Unlike the Kelpis candies, which are hard candies, something to take into consideration. I mean, it's something that I think about when I choose my candies. But these are wonderfully packaged, really fun for yourself, or as a gift. You'll be taking this one? Did you get a chance to try the matcha one? You did. And what did you think? You liked it? Good. So, I personally feel that the matcha one doesn't taste, honestly, of matcha, but what did you think? Mm -hmm. I felt the same way. There is a little bit more of the warmth to it. But even as you smell the candies in their packaging and outside of the packaging, it smells just like a milk tea tapioca candy. Yeah. Wonderful packaging again on this one. It's beautiful shades of green all over on this one. So you'll pass on this one? Okay. No problem. So let's see, what else do we have? Here's this one. This is a limited edition item that we have at our store. This is Garrett's Strawberry Popcorn. Are you familiar with Garrett's Popcorn? Okay, so Garrett's is a Chicago tradition. This is mostly known for being the combination of caramel and cheese popcorn, but Garrett's from time to time puts out some unique flavours, and right now they have this beautiful strawberry flavour. So you can find Garrett's online, or you can find them at the Chicago stores, they have a store in Las Vegas, few places around the United States scattered. But we currently stock the strawberry flavour and I would 100% recommend this particular item. This does not have an artificial strawberry taste, this has a beautiful, almost sickly sweet, but still very pleasant, real strawberry flavour. Even though this is a crunchy snack, the flavour of the strawberry infused in this is almost like a strawberry jam or preserve. It's wonderfully flavoured with lots of layers. It tastes so fantastic. So you'll expect a real wonderful strawberry flavour from this one. This product uses strawberry freeze-dried powder and natural strawberry flavour. So you're going to get a much closer and truer strawberry flavour from this product. I will read to you what it says on the back. The secret is simple. Real ingredients and time-honoured family recipes. First, we select only the finest ingredients and combine them in copper kettles. Real strawberries with our white caramel crisp. Then, we cool the crispy kernels by hand for that signature crunch each and every time. Never mass-produced, always small batch, never cooked in oil, always hot air popped, never processed in a factory, always cooked in our kitchens. Rip open this bag and experience something amazingly, awesomely good. I couldn't have put it better myself. Are you a fan of popcorn? It depends 
a lovely one. <laughs> Me too. I'm not a fan, personally, of caramel. I tend to prefer more of a salty popcorn, but this is the rare exception. This is a beautiful, wonderful flavour, even though it is sweet from the caramel and the strawberry. It is so well balanced with the flavour of popcorn. It has a very striking colour on it, too this bright red colour in casing the popcorn. So what do you think? You want to give this one a try? Perfect. I think you'll like this one. That strawberry flavour is just so delightful that I have to recommend it. Perfect. So let's see. You seem to like that tapioca pearl candy. So what about this one? So this is almost like a little gift box. This is the Boba Tea Candy. It's by Dragonfly. So this is quite similar to the previous item individually wrapped boba tea tapioca candies and it says you will fall in love with Ella sweets now I can't say I've personally tried this one but I wanted to suggest this to you as you did seem to enjoy the previous boba tea style candies yes this is really cute packaging we take the lid off, you'll see it is a little plastic tin of sweets. This might be nice as a gift to share more for yourself. And you can always reuse this little tub afterwards for perhaps other individual candies. So, this candy uses fresh milk and green tea and a winter melon flavour. So it should be interesting. This product is made in Malaysia. What do you think of this one? It's cute, isn't it? Would you like to give this one a try? Perfect. I do like that one. If you end up trying that one and you come back, let me know how it is. Of course. Okay, so I noticed you tried the Milketa candies and what did you think of them? Nice, aren't they? I tried these ones and I think my favourite is the vanilla and the chocolate. So, You've already tried them, but I'll have a little chat about them with you. They are flavours encased in a quite chewy candy. You might have noticed that in terms of chewiness, each of the candies are a little bit different in terms of chewiness and ability to get your teeth through them. And the boba tea candies are much easier to chew on. The chocolate one is a little bit more like um like a hot chocolate. It's more of a cocoa powder, soft flavouring, almost like a malt, not at all like a, a rich chocolate flavour, just a more of a powdered chocolate flavour. The vanilla is lovely and creamy and it makes the candy overall taste really well creamy and just fantastic and the strawberry one is really really nice it's that lovely pleasant juicy but artificial strawberry flavor these are all again individually wrapped i'll read to you what it says on the back 
blending the flavors of chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla with the creamy deliciousness of an ice cream shake. This treat is light and refreshing. It's made with real milk, so you know it's a good source of calcium. And four, the ingredients they've used, skimmed milk powder and sweetened condensed milk. So these ones are really nice, creamy candies with something different going on with each one. None of the flavours are overpowering, they're all very complementary to the base flavour of milk. Did you have a favourite from the three? Oh really? Interesting. And what did you think of these? Would you purchase these then? You will? Perfect. These candies might actually go very nicely in the boba tea candy tub. Mm -hmm. So let's see, what else do we have? We have these. These are sour power straws. We just got these in this week. This item is made for the Netherlands. So, have you ever had something like this before? Okay. So, these are very sour and sugary straws. Think of something like a Twizzler, and you just bite off from the tube or the straw. Except with these, they're a lot more sugary because they're covered in sugar crystals and they're quite sour. So if you happen to like sour candies, these might be for you. These all come in the same package, they're not individually wrapped. And they are this really striking bright red colour in strawberry. They are made by the company Dorval. You get nine pieces and they are 50 grams. What do you think? Do you like sour items? You're undecided on this? Okay. I'll put this item to the side. Do you have any interest in anything savoury at all? One or two things? Okay. I mention that because we do have a special going on this month for this particular item. So I'll just show you these. These are Calbee Hot and Spicy Crisps. So, Calbee is a very famous company that has made snacks for over 40 years. And these are made in Japan. Now, even though the flavour says hot and spicy, I promise you they're not. They're a little bit more of a hickory smoke barbecue flavour as opposed to anything really spicy, like chilli, for example. So I would say that these are 100% tolerable. They have a really lovely and pleasant crunch to them. And the potato flavour combined with it is really, really nice. I always recommend Calbee chips or crisps to our customers. I'll read to you what it says on the back. We love our chips, and you will too. For more than 40 years, families have enjoyed the delightful crunch and irresistible flavours of Calbee potato chips. You'll find only the highest quality ingredients in every bite, one after another. Since this is quite a nice sizable bag, this is 80 grams has this really lovely striking packaging on it. There are some wonderful flavours infused into these crisps. There is nutmeg, paprika, garlic, onion, black pepper, 
turmeric, coriander, cumin, oregano, mustard, ginger, clove, the list goes on. So lots of beautiful flavours in this. I would say there isn't one particular standout flavour with these. It's just a nice combination of spices and crunchy potato crisp. So how do these sound to you? They sound good? Fantastic. Place those there for you. So did you get a chance to try the coconut candy? You did? Okay. I'll grab that for you. So this is the smallest package that we have of them. These are a coconut sticky jelly candy that you may have noticed from the flavour that it is a very, very delicately coconut flavoured jelly like candy. This does not have a strong vanilla or coconut flavour to it. They are individually wrapped again. And as you can see and probably taste, they're very squishy. Slightly dense, but squishy. And they are covered in I believe coconut. So these contain corn syrup desiccated coconut and coconut powder, but it is very, very delicately flavoured. So this is for those who are looking for much more of a simple candy, who don't like overwhelming flavours of sweets. A lot of sweets that a lot of us tend to enjoy are quite strong, quite sugary, Even though this does contain added sugars, it doesn't taste like it. So, what did you think of this one? You like it? Yeah. It's a nice balance with all those other flavours going on. The texture of this one is also lovely. It keeps the snack nice and interesting. You have that slight texture from the desiccated coconut and the chewiness of the jelly-like candy. It's a nice, simple little candy. And because they are individually wrapped, you could also store these as almost a pick-and-mix in your tub. Mm -hmm. Something different to try. Alright, would you like to have a look at any of the candies? Sure. Okay. So this is a personal favourite of mine. I like what I call Puchel and high chew sweets. These two flavours are my personal favourites. So are you familiar with the brand or style of sweet? Yeah? Okay, great. So this is two separate flavours. So this is half cola sweets and this is half soda flavoured sweets. The reason I really like these sweets is because they have a fizziness, a slight fizziness, inside the individual candies. They're easy to chew. Lots of lovely flavour to them. So the snack is kept interesting even if it is simple flavours such as cola and soda. The flavour of soda candy is quite difficult to describe. It just has a fresh taste to it. It's the best way I can describe it. It's very much its own unique flavour and I'd always recommend giving it a try just because it is a unique flavour. 
So it says here, only for chow, the Japanese candy gives you the fantastic combo of soda-flavored soft candy and gummies with fizzy tablets. So the cola one is going to be really nice because it's going to taste very much like a soda because you have fizzy drinks that are cola and this has the fizziness inside it. It's going to taste very similar to a soda and the Ramon soda, the blue one, also, it's going to have a nice soda flavour to it. So this one has lots of different layers of flavour and texture going on with it to keep it interesting. These are also individually wrapped and clearly presented with the difference of flavour. So the more red one is going to be the cola flavour and the blue one is going to be the removed soda one. So, you get over 18 pieces in this package and overall, this is 100 grams of candies. This is a personal favourite of mine. I always love suggesting this one whenever possible, but of course, this is your choice. So, what do you think? Would I give this one a go? Perfect. Great choice. Okay. So, would you like to have a look at any more candies? One more? Okay. So, the last candy that I have to recommend for you are these Malag Cow Candies in milk flavour. So, this is by, I believe, Lottie. I'm not sure if that's the right way to say that. And these are a product of South Korea. So these are a creamy, milk-flavoured, chewy candy. Now there are lots of milk-flavoured candies on the market, but these are, if you're looking for a much more delicately flavoured milk candy, Companies like, I believe, the Hokkaido Milk Candy have a much more creamy, vanilla, stronger flavour to them. And the consistency is a little bit more typical of that style of candy. Whereas this one feels a little bit more chewy. Easier to chew than some other candies, but quite chewy nevertheless. So this is one if you're looking for just a very delicate milk flavour to your candy. I would say that the base flavour of this candy, if you took the milk away, almost balances with the flavour of milk with it. Whereas with the Hokkaido candies, those are much more of a milky, creamy flavour and you can't really taste the base flavour. In terms of the base, it's quite similar to the coconut jelly candies. You can taste the base flavour and then the additional flavour paired with it. And that just comes down to your preference if you would like that or not. And it can also come down to your preference of how you like the texture and chewiness of your candy. These are wonderfully packaged. There are several designs of packaging inside this. They're all individually wrapped, and they have several cow designs on the packaging. Very, very cute. The cow is holding up two cartons of milk with a little bell. Wonderfully packaged, lots of beautiful designs and colours going on with this one. Yeah. So what do you think of this one? Do I give it a go? Like I said, there, there are all sorts of milk candies. There are hard candies, and creamy ones, and chewy ones, and then there's fruit flavours and chocolate flavours that go with it. So I'm sure you'll find the perfect milk candy for you. Perfect. So I do have one more item if you'd like to have a look at it. Of course. This is another special that we have for this month. 
This is the Pepsi Peeps drink. So this came out in the springtime. And this is a collaboration between Peeps and Pepsi. So have you ever had Peeps? Okay. So they have a very nice sugary marshmallow flavor to them. And that is exactly what the Pepsi drink encompasses. This is going to taste like the beautiful typical flavors of caramel in cola paired with the vanilla marshmallow flavors of Peeps. Do you like soda like this typically, Pepsi? Okay. So this is something that's nice to try. Typically, a lot of the more unique collaborations can come in big bottles or those big boxes of drinks, but just having it in this one small bottle makes it less intimidating to give it a try. It's wonderfully packaged, has this beautiful contrast of the dark soda color and the bright yellow, and the little details of red, white. Mm -hmm. I find that the Peeps flavor blends perfectly with the already sweet flavor of caramel in this. Yeah, this just is a really nice vanilla -y marshmallow sweet drink. You try this? Perfect. All right. So, I know that you were a little undecided about one or two of the items, and what do you think, now that you've had a little time to think about them? Okay, you're gonna pass on the sour power straws? Okay, no problem. So is there anything else I can help you look for today? No? Okay. So I'll bring all these items up to the front, and you can pay whenever you're ready. Okay. Well, thank you so much for visiting us today. I really hope that you enjoy your snacks. Take care. Goodbye. <laughs>